which scheduler should you use calendly or tidy cow so these two have been dipped as being very similar to each other but there is some differences that you should know about before you make your decision so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you both of them alongside each other and you can decide which one is best for you i will tell you the features that are missing out of each one or which one each one has and then this is hopefully going to help you make your decision on the one that you want to actually go and buy so first things first i want to just go through the pricing of this for you so here you can see tiny cow which as of recording this video on the 5th of october 2022 it is priced at 29 dollars of a one-time purchase and it's a lifetime deal so this already may be thinking you i'm having this one because it's 29 dollars you know um, and this is what it is so what you get as part of that you get up to 10 calendar connections you get both free and paid meetings reduced branding group bookings you get your integrations and a custom redirect url that's everything that you get on that and this is found on AppSumo. um calendly so if we go to calendly what you get on this one is if they do have a free version um, I am going to be using the professional version today, which is $12 a month um, if you are paying annually or $15 a month if you are paying monthly. So, of course, when it comes to pricing, TidyCal wins. But there's features that are missing in TidyCal that you may need, which I'm going to go through. So let's dive into both. So this is the booking type. So if you can see, you know, you can have various booking types in both so by booking type just an example you can see here i have a business audit i have a power hour client discussions new client meetings they're all very different lengths very different prices and um, this one i haven't obviously fully set up so you can see you, know, you can have various different lengths you can have paid you can have unpaid you can do both in both so both of these can have multiple event types additionally when you create an event Well, we just load this up in Calendly. You can pick one-on-one -on -one in Calendly. Group. So that means, let's just say you're going to do a workshop and 10 people maximum can attend. You can make it so that you can do like a group. You can do a collective so you can host an event with another person um, and let event people pick the time when they're available. Or you can do round robin, which basically means, let's just say you have various staff members. That's what you do. Now, in here, you can also, so if I just bring up a meeting here, you can make events private and you can also make them a group one as well. So you can see group here. And just like in TidyCal, you can make events private as well in Calendly. So far, everything's the same. You can make things private. So you can see this here, this is private. Um, you can do group bookings and you can do individual one-to-one -one bookings. The type of booking that you can't do in tidy cal which is one that i actually use myself and the reason i use calendar quite a lot is let's just say that you want to do a one-off meeting with very different times just for this one person so if i just show you this just so i show you what i'm talking about one-off meeting inside calendly basically you can connect it up to things such as direct and calendar itself or i use mine on my email and let's just say i want to give joe blogs some times that are not actually showing on my calendar or a specific length because maybe I want 45 minutes, for instance. I can, you know, just come on here, put some different times in like this and just select what times. Even if there's something in the diary, I can overdo it like that. Press next. I can give it a name. So me, IT Moon and Joe Blogs. It's going to be on Zoom publish meeting and I can provide that link to the person or I can copy the times into the email like this so when I send the email here they can select it and it'll schedule the email in do the zoom etc for me and I use that feature a lot in Calendly myself and it's the one reason I don't use TidyCal because I do like that feature and I need that feature but you may not need that feature and if you don't then so far TidyCal will obviously still be winning for you so TidyCal doesn't do that now, when it comes to actually creating an event, so I'm just going to edit 
um, a current one that I have just so that we can see them. So both are very similar in that they get a name and they get a description. So you can put a description in here. Um, you can connect it up for whatever location you want. So this is connected up to Zoom. Um, and obviously you get the URL that you can rename. This is the exact same. You can give it a name. You can rename the URL. You get a description. You can choose where it's going to be. So is it a physical address? Is it online video conferencing? I obviously don't have my Zoom connected, but obviously you can use Zoom on that as well. Both of them let you have some padding in to the meeting, so like 10 minutes so before you can have another meeting. And you can set the duration of your minutes as well and decide on how far ahead they can book ahead and how much notice that you need. Both of these all do that. So you can see here, your before and afters. We can see here the timings of it, so they can schedule one within a day. Something that you can't do in this one is you can actually set it so that a maximum amount can be scheduled. So I could say I want a maximum of two power hours per day. and But you can't do this in Tidical. So again, that's just one feature missing, but you may not need that feature. On both of them, you can do your actual scheduling like this. So you can put in your scheduling. So you can see here, you can put your scheduling on here. Um, when I do my scheduling, though, what I use of Calendar, which isn't in Tidical, is I use their overall schedule so basically i set a schedule up in here so i've got two power hour and audits and new clients and then my various different events use one of these calendars you can't do that in tidy cow you have to set each availability up per event um which it doesn't really matter if you do it this way or that way so you know to be honest i don't see that's a plus or a bad Next up is the invitee questions. So in here, you also we can ask various different questions when people book. And just like that, you can do it in here as well. So you can also add in your question. You can have various different amounts. Everything is still the same in regards to you can ask questions. You can have a custom redirect for the thank you page. And you can also do that, obviously, inside here where the confirmation page is. You can do a redirect. The one thing that Calendly does, which Tidycal doesn't, is it allows you to do a custom Calendly confirmation page with various buttons on it to allow people to do something else if you wanted them to. Or you could make it so they can schedule another event. Inside Tidycal, you can only have it so that they have either a custom URL redirect to a different thank you page, or you use the default one that comes. Both of them allow you to charge and both connect to PayPal and Stripe. So both of them allow you to do this. And both of them um, allow you to, not both of them, only one of them allows you to do the directory. So inside TidyCal, they have their own private directory that people can access to find certain different things. So let's just, I don't know if this is going to work. I'm just going to put mail light in, see if anything comes up. No one offered mail light. Um, tech. Did anybody have a tech out? There we go. So various people offer marketing strategies and things like that. So you can they do provide this little bit here, which obviously could come in handy for you having a directory. Don't know how much it's used. I just know they have the feature. Calendly don't have that feature. Um, something that you can do in Calendly, which you cannot do inside the other one, is you can customize your email reminders and your email follow-ups. And you can also make it that the emails come direct from your Outlook and Gmail. You currently can't do this in Tidycal, but email reminders are the email reminders. There's, you know, there's nothing else you can do to customize them. They are default. It is going to be coming at some point. As I mentioned, I'm recording this on 5th October 2022. So they do have a roadmap where that feature is coming out soon, um, but we don't know how long that's going to be. So obviously that is a downfall for me because I like to have customized reminders uh, and confirmations, but you may not. You may not need that customized reminder. Other than that, that's pretty much it. So it's up to you to make your choice. So they are very similar, apart from the fact that within Calendly, oh, and Calendly also allows you to do text reminders. Um, that currently is not in Tidycal, but it is on their list of things to do for the roadmap. Whether that takes weeks, months, or years, we do not know. Um, so my personal recommendation, it obviously dep depends. So for me, I use Calendly because I like text reminders. I like to be able to customize my email reminders. 
and I like to have it that I can have this custom thank you page without having to create my own. And I also like the fact that I have the one-to-one -one meetings that I can set up as well within my email. Tidy count, I love the directory that they have. And obviously, I love the price point of $29. So if you didn't need the features that I need, go Tidy count. But if you need the features that I need, go with Calendly. But there's nothing also stopping you from buying Tidy count. And then in the future, it, when it's got all the features that Calendly has, you've got it for a lifetime. So, you know, it's $29. Um, I will put down in the comments my affiliate link to TidyCal. And if you do want to buy through our affiliate link, much appreciated. That helps support us in every way. Um, don't have one for Calendly, so I can't share one with you for that. But hopefully you like the video. And I would love to know which one you choose. Are you using TidyCal? Are you using Calendly? Let me know. Or you might be using something totally different. You might be using something like Acuity Scheduling or Book Like a Boss. Please let me know. And other than that, I am going to hope you all have a magical day. Please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Let us know what other things you'd like to see comparisons with as well down in the comments. And if you are going to buy Tidy Cow, I'd love you to use our link. Take care, everyone.